Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Justin, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Bluetooth communication between a laptop running Python and a Arduino using a Bluetooth module. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so about, I don't know, half a week ago, I got a comment on my last video about setting up uh, Bluetooth communication. So I thought I will make a, like, the bare minimum program you would need to do a communication. So the first thing we want to do is set up the Bluetooth module and the Bluetooth communication on my laptop. Okay, so. Okay, so here I have my laptop all signed in and set up. I am running uh, a Linux operating system. I would normally be doing this on my Windows machine, but my Windows machine doesn't have a Bluetooth module hooked up to it. Um, I would be doing all the Arduino code on my Windows machine, but for Python, I will be doing it on my laptop. So if you want to be using a Windows operating system, it's all basically the same steps for the Python and setting up your Arduino, except for setting up the Bluetooth module in the very first beginning step. So um, that being said, we can get started. So first thing I'm going to do is connect to a Bluetooth module. I did do a factory reset on the Bluetooth module through Arduino. So I'll be using all the defaults. So I'm going to type in our password. Usually it's 1234. It might be 0000, but we wait for that to get connected. And then we're going to click on it. And we need to know this address for Linux. So after that, I want to open up Terminal. Open that up. And in Terminal, we want to have to set up the Bluetooth uh, connection. So I'm going to do a sudo rfcom bind. Zero. Now this zero uh, refers to the device number, so RFCOM zero. We want to type in the address of the Bluetooth module. And we're going to add a one after that, and this one refers to the channel. So I'm going to press enter, I'm going to type in my password. And it's going to give me an uh, error just because I've already set this up. But when you do it, there shouldn't be an error there. So that's what you need to do on Linux. Now on Windows, I'm pretty sure it automatically sets up to a COM port. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it does that. Um, so after that, we have to import the module for Python. And we're going to be importing PySerial. So it's going to be Python 3-m pip install. Hi, serial, and we press enter there. It should download. Uh, what's wrong with this? It's just Python. Um, oh, spelling mistake. That's silly of me. Uh, th, not. Uh, there we go. We wait for that to load, downloads anything if it needs to. Um, it should, since I already installed it, it's just going to give me, um, it's just going to tell me it's already installed. Okay, so that's all we have to do to set up the connection and install all the libraries we need. So here I am in Python Idle, and we got about um, 10, 11 lines of code we have to write in for our program. Now, how our program is going to work is going to be very simple. It's going to send off a number. Um, the Arduino is going to add 100, and we're going to send that back in to the laptop. Okay, so first thing we want to do is import the library we just downloaded in Terminal. So it's import serial, and then we're going to set up the serial connection. So we're going to type in serial com. This is just the variable I'm going to name it, equals serial dot serial. Now the first thing I'm going to do in the bracket is I'm going to set up the location of the Bluetooth. Now this is the same location I set up earlier in Terminal. So it's going to be forward slash dev forward slash frcom zero. And that's all I need to do there. Now if you're going to do this on Windows, I'm pretty sure all you have to do is set up a COM port. I'm pretty sure it sets Bluetooth up in a COM port, but I'm not for sure, so check that yourself. Then I'm gonna set the baud rate, um, 38400. 
This is the default of the HC05. Now I'm pretty sure if you buy this from a factory, it comes with 9,600. Uh, 9, um, but when you reset it, it sets it up to 38,400. Um, I'm not too sure why it does that, but you set this wherever your baud rate of your Bluetooth module is. And that's all I need to do there. Now there's some other information you might have to put in depending on what settings your Bluetooth module is. Now there's a link down below to show you this exact line and what you have to set. And then after that, we can open up serial. So I'm gonna write serial com dot open. And then I'm gonna reset the input buffer. So serial com, all right, I put a dot there dot reset input buffer and that's all we have to do to set up the communication so then I'm just going to do a for loop so for x in range I'm just going to do 50 and then I'm going to write the x value to the Arduino so I'm going to do serial com dot write I'm going to send bytes over so bytes I'm going to convert x into a string I want to send the x string and then I'm going to encode it with a UTF-8 And then I'm going to read from the Bluetooth module. So I want to set up a new variable. So invar equals serial com dot read until and and then I'm going to write decode. Now I don't have to put anything in these two because um, this defaults to a new line character. So backslash n. And this defaults to UTF-8, which is what we want. And after that, I'm just going to print off the values we sent and received. So I'm going to do print out x in. And after that, we're just going to close serial. So serial com dot close. And I'm just looking now, this should be a capital S. And that is all the code we need. So next we can head over to the Windows machine and I can show you how to set up the Arduino for our program. Okay, so here we are in the Arduino IDE. We have about five lines of code for the Arduino for our program. So to start off with in void setup, we're gonna do a serial dot begin and we're gonna set the baud rate to the default of the Bluetooth module, so uh, 38400. And that's all we need to do in void setup. So in void loop, we're going to do an if serial dot available is greater than zero, meaning that there is data coming up from the Python script. And what we're going to do is we're going to read that data, we're going to add 100 to it and then we're gonna send it back to Python. So we're gonna do a serial dot print, and in the brackets we're gonna do serial dot read string until, and in this uh, read string until, we're gonna do a backslash n. Um, this is a new line character the Python script sends out through Bluetooth um, with that write command we did earlier. And since this reads into a uh, ASCII character, we want to convert that to an integer. So to int, and then we're just going to add 100 to that. And that's the main part of the code. And then after that, we want to do another serial dot print, and we want to print a new line character. And then after that, we can do just a delay. 500 milliseconds and that's all the code that you need for the program so after that we can upload our code and we can run the program 
Okay, so here is the setup. I got my Windows machine on the floor there. It is plugged into the Arduino, and on the screen I'm going to show serial monitor. And to the right of that, I just got my laptop, and that's going to be running the Python script. Okay, so guys, I am about to start the program. On the left, you will see the Arduino code running. You are looking at the serial monitor. And on the right is the Python script. So if I just press F5 to start the program, you will see it's starting up. Um, it usually takes a couple seconds for the Bluetooth communication to set up. But after that, it starts showing the numbers. Okay, so you will see the program working perfectly fine. It's sending a number out and it's getting a number back in and it's displaying it. So that's all you really need to do to set up the basic communication. Of course, you will put your own program in sending your own numbers out and receiving your own numbers. But that's all I really want to cover today in this video. Um, if you like this video or it helped you in any way, um, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time.